Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, wanted to kind of do a quick uh, uh, walk around, I guess, of this jet ski. This is a jet ski that I had initially purchased to uh, get back going. Um, plan on doing a 650 uh, or dropping a 650 in this ski. I've got a TS650 engine that initially I was planning to put in here. Uh, things changed. I picked up some other skis and uh, I'm going to sell this one as is. So before I get rid of it, Thought I'd do kind of a quick uh, walk around on this. Um, part of me kind of wanted to get it going, but uh, I really don't want to waste any money on something that I'm not going to use. So uh, it has a lot of aftermarket parts. Got an aftermarket grate. Um, we can see if I can get the hood off here, guys. Sorry about the camera. Um, lots of aftermarket parts here on the motor. Motor's completely rebuilt. Uh, the issue that I'm having with the engine uh, is the pickup. So pickup on it is actually not picking up uh, spark. So if there's no spark on it, um, different things I've messed with here. Uh, it's kind of in shambles right now, to be honest. But it's got a Mariner uh, exhaust and water box uh, and intake. So uh, for a 300, it's got a lot of, a lot of aftermarket stuff. <clears throat> on this so again motor was completely rebuilt it's got great compression um sounds great it's just for whatever reason i can can't get spark and i believe it's the uh the pickup down down here in the front um which i started pulling that apart but um honestly i may go ahead and finish this i don't know what i'm gonna do with it i really don't have the place for it that's kind of where i'm at right now i've got a lot of extra parts um, it's kind of hard to see lighting's not the green ears, but the electrical box here, I've got <coughs> different, uh, coils. I've got different relays and electrical components, um, basically enough to, I think rebuild the box like three times. So I've swapped out different part, uh, or figurations of different parts to try to get it to get spark. And it's very, very weak at best. So, um, pretty sure it's down here in the pickup but um yeah it's kind of kind of what it is again i think just an aftermarket parts is probably got to be worth uh what i paid for it so uh to be honest i paid 150 bucks for the ski i feel like just the pipe and the intake and all the stuff that came with it the great uh it's worth that so paint's not the greatest it was probably really really cool at one time um but there's some pretty good right now it's super dirty too um like all this would, would come off would clean off, but there's still some scratches in it. Um, some spots where it's wore here along the side where it probably rubbed against uh, something on a trailer. Uh, but yeah, I mean, overall the ski is not in terrible condition for what it is. Um, it's just, again, I don't really have the time um, to mess with it right now. I've got, like I said, I've got other other skis I want to get going. I've got a 650 uh, stand up now that's kind of going to be the main one we're going to take. I've got a friend 650 that we want to probably put that TS 650 motor in because uh, we had issues with his last year <coughs> and that would take care of that. So we'd have two stand ups going and I still have my X2 that I, I want to restore. Um, kind of the plan with that is either get the 650 in it, go on, it's got carb issues or possibly drop a 750 in it that I have um, available. So not sure what route we're going to go with the, the X2 yet. It probably, I don't even know if it'll get done this year because I still have my big c -Doo, um that I've got to get rebuild the motor on. So it's kind of why this one's where it's at right now. Basically just got it here in the garage, take some pictures of it, put it on Facebook Marketplace and see what I can get out of it. So for what I paid for it, I think I can get my money back pretty easy and hopefully, hopefully make a buck. Um, yeah, and kind of go from there. I don't really have any anything into this other than just a little bit of time. I did pull the motor um, completely out of it at one time. And as you guys can see, I put it back because what kind of held me up on the 650 is the mounting uh, brackets. You can't, the way this mounting plate works on a 300 is totally different than like a 440 or a 550 um, stand up. So if this had been a 440 or a 550, uh, it'd have been totally totally different uh to drop a 650 into a lot simpler so given what this is um it would have taken some some more work or purchasing the mounts and uh to be 100 percent honest they're kind of 
they're kind of expensive for what it is. And again, at the end of the day, the ski's not in the greatest shape. Um, so, uh, and I don't know that all the aftermarket stuff is with this, you know, the exhaust, all that good stuff. Um, I would have had to pull. So a lot of the things that make the ski worth what it's worth, I wouldn't even be using. So that's when I decided, uh, hey, I'm just going to list it for what it, what it is and walk away and we're already worry about some of my other projects and get, get some other things done because um, I, I don't have the room or the place to to keep storing all these skis. I think at one time I had, I think I had 12, something like that. So I'm down to, uh, counting this one, I have five currently. So um, get rid of this, I've got four. I've got three that I plan to put on my trailer and take to the lake. And then the X2 would be the fourth that um, will, Kind of see what I do with that. Um, I'm not in any big hurry with the three skis I got. They will keep us busy at the lake. So um, it gives me time maybe to pull the X2 and do really what I want to do to it. Strip it completely down, redo the body work, um, and go back together with it. So it's fun. I really, really enjoy riding the X2. Um, it's kind of a little different than a stand-up. But um, yeah, hopefully this year we have better luck with the stand-up. So anyway, uh, yeah, I'm kind of going on about this one, but um, yeah, this is kind of it. So uh, if anybody's interested, it is located in uh, Northeast Colorado and it will be listed within probably the next 45 minutes uh, after this video is posted. So uh, we'll catch you all in the next one and thanks for watching.